Hi submarine friends. Today is a really big day for me. First time diving this submarine manned. So I'm out here with my son Anthony and my friend Brian Nadwidney. Brian is going to be following with his scuba toe, etc. and videoing the sub in action. And uh, hopefully everything goes as planned. Let's get going. You want to give a quick tour of everything that's around you? Okay, this is the CO2 meter. Right now we're reading 1379. It'll go down to 1000 here pretty soon and then it should sit at about 1200. This is the electrical panel. You can see I still need to get some proper labels here. This is the control panel that controls all the motors and dive functions. This is the main high pressure air. I'm just turning it on now. And that feeds this, this high pressure regulator. That's a 6,000 PSI regulator. This controls the airflow to the ballast tanks. Plus, if I open this valve, I can breathe the air from the scuba tank with this regulator here. So if there's smoke in the sub from a fire, I need a, an air source to breathe. This is the reverse contactor panel, power panel, breaker switch. These are all fused. There's gonna be a plastic cover over this. I just haven't got around to building it. I just was anxious to get diving before winter hits. These are my oxygen tanks. Uh, this is the one that I run off during the day. So this is my dive like for the day use. And then these tanks are backup in case I'm trapped in the sub. This is a spare air. So this is like a miniature scuba tank that I can use to ditch if I want to leave the submarine because it's trapped in some way. This is a hydraulic pump, hand pump. What this is for is, in case I have to jettison the chassis in an emergency, I just close the valve on that and actuate this handle. That sends hydraulic fluid to two cylinders that release the chassis and the sub comes to the surface. This thing running right here, this is the CO2 scrubber. That's what's taking the CO2 out of the air right now. Right beside it is the oxygen flow meter. So I'll flow about 0.4 liters per minute. This is my forward camera. It's simply a backup camera from a car or a truck. And I have no way of seeing the surface when I'm in here, so I actually will drive using the camera. This right here, is my Lawrence sonar. That's so I know how deep it is before I dive. So this right here, you're probably wondering, why does he have a jerry can in the submarine? It's not in case I run out of gas. It actually holds the CO2 absorbent for my scrubber. I actually will carry two of these in here, but today is a pretty shallow, safe dive, so I'm only carrying this, which still gives me about 30 hours of uh, breathing in here. And uh, this here is my handy dandy shelf. I couldn't imagine not having that shelf. This is my multiple tool for that can fix anything in here. I just rigged up that magnetic camera mount so I can do some video today. And this right here is an altimeter. And I just painted white and yellow. And so what, it, what that's for is it, it uh, monitors the internal pressure inside the submarine. So that tells me if the oxygen is too if the oxygen flow is too high or not high enough, or if the CO2 is not being absorbed fast enough. And that's the redundant altimeter right there. So you see we're already down to 7, 1176, so, and now 68. So you see it's dropping, so the scrubber's working well. So that's the interior of the submarine. It still needs a little paint work and stuff in here, but I'll get to that over the winter. So this is a test dive just in the harbor here before going out into the lake.
You came up pretty angled. Yeah, I gotta get the feel for it still. The only problem I'm having is uh, that thruster clip. So, can you move forward with the one thruster or will you just do circles? Just do circles. I've got a blown 80 amp fuse. You have a spare? Nope. Here's blown fuse. I don't know, I hate to try it without a fuse because then I have a smoke-filled submarine. I'd tempt it, but... How strong is that scuba toe of yours? <laughs> you want a toe? You think you can push me? Like, I can use my left thruster. Right. So if you just took the place of the right thruster and pushed on that side... I'm on Cooney Lake right now, and that's my forward camera. That tells me when I'm submerging. So right now I'm diving the back. And so you can see the water line there in relation to the deck of the sub. So we're almost there. So I like to dive with the back down a bit to make sure that the tanks are venting. It's just coming over the deck of the sub now. Starting to go down. It takes a while to vent all that air out. And we're under. How'd the dive go? Dive went fantastic. It's a pity that we burnt out a thruster. Well, actually we didn't burn out a thruster, a fuse burnt out. So I suspect they have a bad relay. I bought cheap relays, I'm guilty, I have to admit. So I'm gonna have to replace that relay. I'm gonna start carrying spare relays and spare fuses because I can swap them out easily in the sub. Matter of fact, I could swap it out at depth, no problem. So other than that, it went great. Um, I'm a total rookie pilot, of course. I mean, this is the first time I went down in it. So I crashed into the bottom a few times, but that's to be expected. Uh, vertical thrusters are working fine. Venting systems working fine. Air systems working fine. Life support worked perfect. So I call it a big success. Now I know exactly what I have to do to make it perfect. How's the dive, Brian? Uh, it was, the water's really warm. The visibility's really bad, probably about 15 feet. Um, but yeah, we've got some video of it under the water and it's looking good. It's nice not breathing smoky air. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, when you compress the air, but you're, you're not compressing smoky air. Okay, for all my submarine friends, I want to show you guys how stable the submarine is. So you can see I can come all the way out here and there's no problem at all. So in waves, this thing will be really nice to get in and out of. So you see, it's very stable. I like it. So we just did a few dives here in Kootenai Lake. And for the first time, I was in the submarine, which was really, really nice. It really is a nice feeling. You know, you work for years to build this stuff, and you finally get to dive it. It wasn't very deep, but... Depth really doesn't mean much. It works the same whether you're real deep or real shallow. So things we found out, I need to carry spare fuses and relays for the controllers. Uh, we had a relay fail today, short out, so luckily it's all fused, so no harm done. Uh, another thing, um, I'm going to put a variable ballast bladder inside. The sub has such small volume that it's a little hard to control. Normally I would just have a main ballast tank. But I'm going to put a bladder inside, even two gallons. That gives me 20 pounds of uh, buoyancy adjustment. I think that'll really help. The vertical thrusters were fine. They were plenty powerful. The uh, 
forward thrusters, they're plenty powerful when they're working. So I'm calling this a really big success. Now I know exactly what I want to do to the sub over the winter, so in the spring we can uh, go do some really serious diving. We'll be all ready to roll, no more experimenting or testing. We will do one more pressure test because I've had the dome out. I like to do that each time the dome is out. So until then, ciao!